If it's death or gelato, have. Mm. Uh, mm. 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 Yeah. Yeah. Mm. Mm. Oh my god. Mm. Mm. I'm making gelato now in Paris. I hope it's on par, but wow. A great place to bring a date. I'll take Milan, whatever. Definite date material. I know how Michelin rate their restaurants. I don't know if they rank gelato shops with Michelin stars, but they should, because I would drive very far to get here. Pornography or are we eating ice cream? We're eating ice cream, just to clarify. Every time I finish an ice cream, I could go right back in and order another, requiring like 42 years of self-discipline to be able to not go in there and eat another one right after every time. I feel like I've lived the dream of gelato in Bologna. Seven stops, one miss six hits tough to rank them really 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 tough like the six hits were all hits now i'm gonna rank them anyways and it's tough to not say the one you're currently eating is number one especially when it's so good but i'm still gonna put it as number two because i where we're gonna go number seven i should barely mention it but i will our good friends at la torinese don't go there i mean unless you've really gone to all the other six first and then you can give them a try. I'm dying for gelato, and I know the feeling. I've been there. The only good thing about the shitty gelato on my last day here is that I have to go have a second one to make sure that's not my last gelato in Bologna. There are silver linings. I've never seen any gelato scooped into balls. Uh, it's the brioche. It's nice and warm. So it's gonna melt. We better eat this. It's bread. good. This, is like, this one recommended by the tour guide. One bite in. It's at the bottom of our list. Mm. Mm. The brioche is real nice. It doesn't compare, does it? It's ice cream. It's just I can't ever get mad. I'm not angry. Five, we're gonna say it's a tie. Five, six is Cremaria Cavour. Is tied with uh, Castiglione, Sorbetaria Castiglione. Milan that I kind of thought was for me, but I gave him options. So he's got mint, gianduia, and pistache. Show I had <laughs> tiramisu e crema d'uovo. Mm. Walking right in the direction of a gelato shop. Ah, okay. But you don't know this one? No. Uh oh, that could be, I, I, that could be true. I, but all the other ones you know? I'm very fond of ice creams, and I have the, my the most favorite ones. Which is which, which don't don't correspond to the ones. Ah, well, which is, what's your favorite? What's the? I'll tell you in a minute. Okay, okay. 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 <laughs> Lots of very exciting news on the tour, but history, history, just take me to the age of the refrigeration. And then we get here and Milan is late, and I'm a good friend, so I didn't go in, and now there's a line of 20 Academy members in front of us, and we gotta wait like suckers for our gelato. Meanwhile, we still got one more gelato shop in our list, and I'm considering just going there and saving this one for later. The list. Can... list first. Yeah, so we go elsewhere then? Okay, we're out of here. We're gonna bounce in. Group. We're out of here, but we're going to find the other gelato shop with the plan of get, ordering the gelato, getting it with us, and getting back there before they've all got their gelato consumed and left. Gosh darn Google Maps, and I suck with directions. Yeah, race is on. Let's see if we get there. Left here. Sign might have helped, but we're. Let's see. If we don't find it, I'm gonna. I don't know what I'm gonna do. People are eating ice cream. We got la dota mascarpone con chocolato il gigante crema di pinoli. Heaven, heaven. This place looks legit. The last one. This is Piazza Grande. The 50 special because that's my number. Oh no. I broke my cone, man. Working too hard for the photo. Doing it for the gram. Oh my god, 50 special. Coffee with some nougat and chocolate chunks, like cookie crumbs. Holy F. And then inside I got the ricotta limone because I liked it so much at the other place. And then inside, inside I got la dota because she recommended it from Milan and it comes with melted chocolate in there first. How does it compare? These cone cups are are a wonderful little feature. Uh, and this one's the first time we've seen it in chocolate. So that's that's a, that's a something. They had four upright vertical turbines in there. Pretty big operation. And like, I haven't got to my second flavor. Here we go. That's the ricotta limone. Oh my God, you got that one too or no? 
it's gonna be tough to like really like put the, we got five now to put in order i'm sweating hard in the shade but this is very very good mm, these chunks of cookie and brownie now it's melting you're gonna see the disappearing ice cream trick oh my god milan was asking earlier what's like the practice on like really mixing the flavors together i think you do whatever the hell you want it's gonna get flavors you want to, but i do sometimes protect my flavors and try and eat all of one flavor first then hit the next but i just got a mix there and that was fantastic mix yeah ricotta limone i've never heard of it until being in bologna now my second time and it is uh, an absolute winner mm. yeah yeah good golly Alright, going everywhere! Number four, gelato. Oh, there's a lot of flavors. <laughs> Window shopping. Four flavors. Quick math. But two in particular have been recommended. The Boccione del Papa. Pope. Somewhere there. And the Crema Catalana. Some kind of cheese cooked in the oven that's going into a gelato. Uh, something. No, non è stracitella. Quella è ricotta with the chocolate. Ricotta with limone. The boccione del papa. And pistache. In salted by stacking. Look at this. It's melting too fast. Number three, Cremaria San Francesco. So we got a gelato in a brioche bun, a zabaione de bomba, a parto in a pistachio. We have ones like hazelnut with nougat, ones like uh, egg base with uh, brownie chunks in it, and then pistachios, pistachio. And it's effing awesome. I haven't bitten into the brioche yet. I'm not quite ready. It's topped with homemade whipped cream too, which Milan wasn't stoked on, but, but. Yeah, it's good. Yeah, it's good. I can't give you a full report till I'm done, but it is absolutely delicious. Two small spoons in. Oh my God. And it works very well with the whipped cream. Holy gelato. Oh my God. Number two. Last night for me in Bologna, I, we went to the tour guide recommended gelato shop. Uh, 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 I finished it, but not that nice. So we had one more recommendation we're trying to find. I think we're getting close, but even on our way here, we passed number one, our favorite, my favorite. And we're like, oh my God, should we stop? But it's about the list. It's about diversification. We want to try as much as possible. Getting closer, closer. <laughs> Yeah, holy shit. <laughs> this is real deal gelato again. This operation looks much more professional, presentation more professional. I gotta eat quick because it's hot as hell, but holy shit. This yeah, is okay. effing delicious. Crocante, crocante amarena here. Then I got a Marty, which is hazelnut and ganjou drape. So this amarena, almond and cherries I got on top is holy fuck, holy fuck. Underneath all this, I still got salted pistachio. Heaven. Milan's going with, he had a surprise on top, he probably doesn't even know what it is. Can you make it out by taste, your top flavor? He said surprise me, he seems happy, but we're not entirely sure what it is. It's not a chocolate with berries, it's chocolate with rum. Mmm. Chocolate with rum. Mmm. Those who know me, no, I don't go for the fruit flavors very much, but this almond cherry is so fucking good. Texture, light and fluffy, not too sweet. It eats like a meal. I would drive very far to get here. In fact, we did. Not very far, but we have a small window in our day full of activities. <laughs> but we won't talk about potential parking tickets. We won't talk about it, even though I'm kind of talking about it. Okay, I'm into my pistachio now, which is my all time. Oh my God. Oh my god, the pistachio is like a fucking paste. It's not even like a pesto de pistachio. Like, look at that. It's, it is so nutty, and there's very little cream in there. That is 
Oh my god. Mm. Uh, it could be neck and neck. Cecilia Scagliarini. Wow. Great recommendation. Oh my god. Normally I wouldn't eat that much in one bite, but. Oh my god. Number one, Santo Stefano might be a touch ahead. Like, it's like 99 to 98, and it's worth the new experience. So, okay, now I'll bring you there. With, you know where I was? Okay, now you're with Matteo. Yeah. Just go and Cassone. play. Uh, yeah, and yeah. Matteo was crazy at yeah, the time. Uh, Matteo stayed still crazy, crazy for a long time. No. I had my uh, my turn trying to calm uh, Matteo. Okay, here we are. Creme Maria Santo Stefano. Um, orange flower. Uh, then we have peanut butter. Peanut butter. It's like peanut butter, like arachidin. Yeah, it's yeah. Yeah, it's very good. I love it. Kinoto, he had his first Kinoto today. Yeah, Kinoto is strange. Yeah, your drink, your pop, the Kinoto. Uh, it's very like strange, that Kinoto. It's, it's like a great. bitter Coke. Uh, yeah, I like it, I like it. And this is yogurt with honey from the Bologna's Guild. Salted pistachio, I don't know, like, you know if I'll taste the saltiness. Mm hmm? I can do, yeah, when I, you can do the, the saltness of the pistachio, yeah. like if you have the nuts. No, no, but now there's like, like I taste like, you know, like, yeah. Yeah, yeah. there's like some no, the pieces same. of salt in there. Now for me, the peanut butter is really tasty, you know? Yeah, yeah. peanut butter, and was, I, I, it's good, right? It's the yeah. first time I've seen peanut butter on a gelato menu. Normally that's American style ice cream. Wow. <laughs> Some serious equipment. Is it pronto? Phosphorus, those are the two pistachios. Yeah. This is not solo. This is uh, oh, this is the peanut. Uh, this is what we're having. This is the peanut. That's their mix. Amazing. Pretty legitimate looking operation. They've got all their mise en place, all their prep ready to go. And it's all, it's a very clean, everything is kitchen that's producing mass volume of gelato, so they know exactly what they're doing. Yeah, one more look. This is legit. Legit. Even they got things to dry hang, knives, citrus presses, nut mixers, vacuum seal machines. Still remember Santo Stefano so perfectly. I mean, even the photo, like, it just, like, it photographed so much better, even. And that's our roundup of Bologna Gelato, even though we're here for Ultimate Frisbee. We did a pretty good job on the gelato, too. Alright, don't have the rest. Eat it, man. Don't tell me to eat it. Oh, yeah, that is a thing of beauty. Is this pornography, or are we eating ice cream?